Hey everyone, Jolt here. Over the past four or five years, I've developed a process for reading a book, capturing electronic notes, and creating visual book on a page summaries. Each time I pick up a book, I think through my process and look for ways to improve on it. So this way, each time I'm doing this process, the process is slightly better, slightly different. Today, I want to show you my latest innovation, the idea integration board for a book. But before we jump to the idea integration board, I want to give you a high level view of my process and how this idea of the idea integration board evolved and what I'm trying to solve with this idea. Each time I read a book, or actually each time I come across a book, I create a folder for that book under my input books folder. I create a folder because for me, a book typically has multiple files. By default, there are four files for each book. I have the cover page or my research page for the book. I have my literature notes, my summary, and my book on a page. But the reason I have a folder is because as I start to create my illustrations, you can see that I end up with tons and tons of files related to that book, and I want to capture them in one folder. Now my research page for the book, and this is where the ID integration board will come in, so this is what we're going to focus on now. My research page typically looks something like this. I have some basic data about the book. I typically have some high level summary. In case of the extended mind, I only have this simple image. And then I have a couple of links, links to the literature notes, links to my book on a page and to my summary. And below that, I have notes that I take during the process of reading and doing research. So you can see the different aspects that I've captured about the book, videos I watched, etc. all in one page. This is my research work. This article talks about how you can improve your understanding of what you're reading and what are different levels of understanding. And the concept I want to highlight is this concept that focuses on first mapping out the primary ideas in the book, then building the secondary ideas around those primary ideas, and finally linking the peripheral ideas in the book to the secondary ideas. And in a way, by mapping out the primary ideas, this becomes sort of the foundation on which you can build your understanding of the book. Now, of course, this applies to technical books, to business books, not so much to fiction. The first time I applied this idea of mapping out primary ideas was when I was reading Rationality in cohort four of the Visual Thinking Workshop. And somehow the way Eliezer Yudkovsky presented the material just didn't click with me at all. So I ended up reading chapter one at least three, four times and creating this concept map for myself so I can better understand what the book is about or better understand the initial concept. And this is what triggered the idea that then I experimented in or experimented with while reading Finite and Infinite Games in Cohort 5, that I should really create a mind map, an idea integration board for the book, instead of following my old style method of creating a markdown note with all my research. So in case of Finite and Infinite Games, I created this board where I captured some of the relevant other reading, I captured some internet resources, I also captured my literature notes here, so I still have a literature notes file, and I keep all my highlights and my drawings in here, as well as for me, this primary ideas or map was this list of 
uh, dualities and contrasts that were presented in finite and infinite games. And now this is what I'm building on in the next book that we're going to be reading in cohort six of the visual thinking workshop, Playing to Win. And today I started to read Playing to Win in preparation for the cohort kickoff on Saturday. And this is how my Playing to Win idea integration board looks like today. And let me just quickly walk you through the different elements of it, then show you a little bit what's under the hood. So of course, here at the center, you can see the book itself. In the intro, there's reference to three thinkers, three models, and I happened to have materials about all of these three models in my vault. So these are actually links that will take you to the relevant material. And for example, here's the Porter Five Forces, and I even have a blog post, which I think I never posted actually, but I have a draft and I have some written material on it. Then on the right hand side, as I started to read the book, before I jumped in to read the book, I looked at the table of contents because that's always a good practice when you read a book, first look at the table of contents and understand the map of the territory. Typically the table of contents give you, gives you the primary ideas in the book. And as I was reading the introduction chapter, I noticed that the central five chapters are actually the five choices of strategy and then there are some material before and after it to place it into context but this is the basic structure of the book and as i'm going to be reading this right now i was reading the chapter today that strategy is choice and there's this mention of this cascade of choices so i created this drawing for myself I'm going to add additional drawings here and notes as I read about this. But also my practice is that when I'm reading a book, I like to do some research. And for me, research means reading blog posts, looking at YouTube videos, as well as listening to podcasts. So I was also watching this video by the Milken Institute. This is actually a, an interview between AG and Roger, and they talk about the key ideas in the book. So I actually captured my notes here. You can see that this is an embedded note because my notes on videos, on articles, they go into my input folder to a different section. So I can show you where this leads to. If now I close my books section and come down to YouTube, then we should find here playing to win somewhere. There you go. And here's the interview that you can see here embedded. And then on the top, I also have some material that as I was reading the intro and thinking about the topic, I spotted a couple of ideas that link to material in my vault. So I found or thought of three books that I've read and I have in my vault that were similar. So Stephen Covey's First Things First and Wardley Map and also The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. So these were three books that I read that were similar in topic as well as for me design thinking has some similarity I mean, the whole idea, I haven't explored this item yet. As well as on my idea board, I'm adding my book notes. Right now, my literature notes are empty. That is because I'm reading on my Kindle and I haven't imported my literature notes to Obsidian yet. And I have these two other pages that are right now only links. When the time comes, I'm going to click on these and create the summary and create the book on a page notes as well and embed it here. And then if we look under the hood, if I turn over to markdown view mode, you will see that under the hood, this 
Excolidro drawing looks very similar to my notes on the extended mind. So here, if I come here, you can see I have my header, I also have my links, and I have a couple of notes. These are actually notes from the distant past. I imported these from the brain, so these must be at least five year old notes. Apparently, I was looking at this book at that time as well. And then below this, I have my Excolitraw contents. If you want to know more about sort of this idea of flipping the page, looking at the back side of the drawing, then I recommend you look at this video about the visual Zettelkasten. And so that is the idea I wanted to share with you today. If you're interested in this, the Visual Thinking Workshop Cohort 6 is about to start this Saturday, so there's still time to hop on board and join the Visual Thinking Workshop. In the workshop, we're going to read Playing to Win, and we're going to go through this six-step process of first reading the book and creating our literature notes, capturing sketches, compiling our book on a page summary, saving visual permanent notes into our Zettelkasten system, and finally presenting our book on a pages to each other. Thank you.